Let's show lateral movement, which is nothing more than when a hacker compromises one machine, as we have done in the previous videos with Sysmon, uh, how he moves laterally through the corporate network and compromises as many machines as possible. So let me show you the actors in here. We have uh, the fully patched wind machine that we have used before to attack. Here the address and the Windows name, they all have wind collect with the Sysmon. Uh, uh, that sends the, the, the enhanced Windows logs to Curator and we install in Curator the Sysmon content pack and that's what we want to encourage with this video is to show you how easy it is for hackers to do this to make sure that you have your defenses up to detect these type of attacks. Uh, we also are going to be compromising a Win 7 machine, a Windows 8 machine and here is the Kali, which is going to be the attacker. And you can see the addresses of all those. So in here we have the actual Kali machine. So let me start the Meta, Meta Exploit framework, the Meta Interpreter. In here we have the Win, the fully patched Win 7 machine that we're going to be first uh, uh, compromising and, and move laterally from it. Here we have the Win7 machine. This one is not fully patched, but it doesn't matter. It could have been patched as well. That doesn't change uh, anything in here. And we also have the Win8 machine in here. Just to prove that this not only works with Win7, it works with uh, basically any version of Windows. Because those uh, PowerShell and PSXec that we are going to be using uh, uh, run on all these uh, versions of uh, Windows. So in here, we're going to start, so, so you see the whole setup. Uh, we start the meta exploit, but we're going to make two changes into it. And, and, and this is not meant to be a, any Kali tutorial or anything like that, but just uh, to show you the stuff. So we do control C in here. And we're going to do set exit on session set exit of sessions uh, to false because we don't want we want to be compromising several machines so we don't want this to exit when it gets the first machine because we want to get as many as we can and we're going to do an exploit. Uh, with the dash J option to do it uh, as all the possible uh, machines that we get compromised. In our case, it's going to be just two because those are the ones that have in the network to do those uh, uh, in the background. In QRadar, we instead of looking at the offenses, which we normally uh, do, we're going to, I want to show you something, a filter that is actually very uh, can be very useful when you are debugging these type of things, which is uh, in the filter I'm going to put here associated with offense. In other words, give me only the those events that are associated with uh, an offense, and we're going to do that real time to see how Curator is actually with the Sysmon pack detecting all these variations of uh, of the attacks. And uh, Muta has put very many rules in here to make this actually. Uh, very very capable. So what we need to do next is to actually compromise the Win7 machine, the fully patched Windows 7 machine which is uh, this one over here and we're going to do it uh, by just running the MyLove as an administrator. Again we have shown how you can do this from a non-admin account and how you escalate privilege but to keep this video short Let's do it uh, this way. And we see that we got a session open uh, with the machine being, uh, being uh, compromised. What we need to do next is get into that session interactively. That's I1. So we are there. If we do get UID, we are a a simple user here with not much privilege but we do get system and the, si 
method interpreted try several techniques, and in the first one, the name by impersonation, it gets full privilege. So we have shown this in the previous video. So now I'm system. So I'm ready now to dump the password in this machine in the hopes that I find a password that is an admin, a powerful password that I can use on the other uh, other, other machines. And when I'm going to do that is I'm going to, I have the, all the commands in here. And this command basically executing PowerShell downloads dynamically from the web this package from GitHub and basically execute the Mimikatz uh, and dumping the, the actual uh, credentials, it's a PowerShell that it's already on the web, file less so to, uh, to, to hide detection, but we will see that Curator cannot be fooled by that. So let's actually go into the Kali machine and execute that command to dump uh, Let's see if we can get the passwords in this machine and look for that uh, password. So the command has been actually uh, successfully executed. So let's go into the channel one that has actually been created and see what is it that, uh, what was the result of, of running this PowerShell Mimikat uh, uh, command and see if we get the password. So this may take uh, couple of seconds, oh, it actually wasn't that, that long. And here we get all the passwords for us to exploit. And <laughs> this is actually the, the one that we're gonna use, right? So it's an admin password. So let's actually start using that. So we actually, you know, compromise the machine, dump the password. Let's see what curator has uh, seen out of all this. <laughs> Look at that. So, couple of things to detect. Notice that here there's detected assistant configured to use a pipe. The Mutas has put a lot of goodness in here. A pipe has been created uh, following by uploading a binary, a possible credential. DOM has been detected. So, I mean, this is enough. And of course, offenses are actually fired. Uh, as a consequence of that, I will call the attention here. All the events actually index into uh, just uh, one of them. What we want to do next is actually in this machine, we want to upload uh, the file that we're going to be using for attacking those. It's actually created also with MS Venom. It's my love2.exe and psxec, which Contrary to PowerShell, which is an old Windows machine, PSXec is not installed by default, but it doesn't matter. We can easily upload it uh, in there. Let me actually do that. So let's hit enter to get out of the meta exploit, uh, to get back to the meta interpreter, rather. So and do upload my love2.exe. Oh, actually, let's make sure that I'm in the I want to do this from the root directory. And here's when I want to do the upload. I love 2.exe. Pang is now in the machine, ready for me to use. Let me upload psxec, which is not by default on that machine. Pang is ready for me to use. Now my next part of the plan is actually discover what other machines are in the network. That's not hard. All I need to do here is open a shell into the machine, like a, like a DOS, the like command windows in it. Okay, I'm in the Windows machine and do a net view and see what is connected in the machine. And in my demo system, there are only these those three machines, and these are the ones that I'm interested in, the Win8 machine 
and the Win7 machine. So I got the names of them. All I need to do is craft my command, which I already have crafted here, as we can see. That's what we're going to be actually using. Using PSXX, which is how I just uploaded. These are the name of the two machines I want to compromise that I got with the NetView. Here's the user ID and password that I got from the dump. And I'm accepting the EULA, so I don't get a GUI <laughs> to bother me. And so, and I'm executing the mylove2.exe that I also just uploaded. So let's actually do that. So I exit the shell and I paste that command that I have ready and notice how I get the 203 machine compromise. I got a session with it and a session with the 101 machine which is the Windows 8. So I have compromised those machines. Now those are additional beach heads for me to start doing all the previous attacks. So this is uh, one of the several examples that we will show of how to do how to detect lateral movement. And these are the techniques that the bad guys are using. If you don't have Curator with the Sysmon content pack in it, you may not be detecting these things happening. And, and we have shown in previous video how you how they obfuscate this with uh, uh, ENCODE uh, Base64 and, and how Curator detects all those uh, methods of, uh, of obfuscation very effectively. And of course, if we go back to Curator, <laughs> what is that? You know, all the things that were actually uh, detected as a consequence of, you know, remotely execute process on multiple hosts. This is actually key. This is Curator detecting, well, why, why is that ex process executed remotely on more than one machine? You know, and that's the key, uh, one of the key rules that Mutat put uh, in the content pack that allows uh, for this uh, detection. 